Thank you for calling the salon. This is Siri. How can I help you? Just the person that I was wanting to talk to. Mm. Okay. Can I ask who's calling? Uh, yeah. My name is Carla. You didn't do my hair, but you did my daughter's, and I'm very upset. Okay. Can I ask uh, what the problem is? Well, you just went in and chopped all of my daughter's beautiful hair off. It is not feminine. You did it without my permission, and now I can hardly recognize my baby girl. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't typically tend to do really big cuts like that without a parent's permission. Um, can I get your last name so that I can look it up and see if it jogs my memory? Well, you did this time, young lady, and my last name is Martin. Okay, and was the haircut under um, your name or your daughter's name? Why would it be under my name if she's the one that got her hair cut? Oh, sometimes whenever parents book appointments for their kids, um, they just put it under their name because they already have a profile with us. No, I've never been there in my life. You're not understanding. Her name is Sarah Martin. Okay. Um, so there's not a Sarah Martin in my system. Okay, then I'll give you her phone number. It's 850-555-5555. Her phone number. Ma'am, how old is your daughter? She's 28, about to be 29. Okay. Um, well, I looked up the number that you gave me, and I have a Sam Martin in my system. Yeah. So Sarah is her given name, not this lifestyle that she's trying to lead. I have tried telling her that she was born my beautiful, bouncing, bubbly baby girl, and then you went and chopped all of her hair off, and you just reinforced this mindset that she's not a she. So. Okay, now I see what's going on. So since he is an adult who is almost 30 years old when he came in and paid for a haircut, I was obligated to give it to him. Under what authority? Who gave you permission to go and chop all of my daughter's beautiful hair off? That's what I want to know. Well, Sam is almost 30 years old, so I think just the law because he's over the age of 18 <laughs> okay your ears clearly don't work we're talking about my daughter and this is disrespectful uh, okay well i'm gonna go i'm glad we got this settled no you will pay i demand to talk to a supervisor okay and what are you gonna tell her that an adult came into the salon and paid for a service and that i was literally doing my job you know what? I'll just make sure Sarah never returns to your salon. You lose a client and you lose money. How about that? That's fine by me. Sam won't need his hair cut for quite a while because we took it very short. You have a great day.